<coughs> hey, good morning. This is a follow-up video to answer Solex on how a more even lighting and getting rid of the glares. So in this case, you have the light, and originally we had it uh, on a long range, so it was going all over the room and um, had a wide spread angle. So I have adjusted it down like this, rather than having it like all the way up and like crazy amount. Because when you do that, you can see it starts giving some artifacts and it's having some trouble dealing with the lighting. And you're going to spend more time fixing it unless you know how to fix it, right? Some of the areas you will fix it is the custom uh, bio settings. So assuming you're a beginner, which I would assume you are at this case, um, I would keep my light to around this area. Now, assuming you have real-time light and assuming you are doing whatever you're doing for whatever reason, let's just pretend that, okay, you want some even lighting across your room to a certain degree that makes sense to you. Something like this, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I would just copy them down like this and I would kind of just make sure it's evenly out at the bottom. And then I would, as a beginner anyway, I would duplicate these and I would turn these into point light and I would probably go down to like 10 or something and I would turn off the shadows because you don't need that shadow for this because it's costly, right? So there you have it. That's a very quick way of getting some even lighting in your room. Uh, while you also are getting the necessary details like the shadows and all that of course you would tweak these and do it better now you might be wondering the glare well in in a this case you would have a light fixture you would have an object that would be suitable for the glare uh, so that wouldn't be a problem but if if there would be a problem it's no what more difficult than just pulling them a little bit down to get rid of that super long glare right so there you have it hope that was a quick and easy video for you as well to kind of uh, know a different approach to your lighting rather than having a one light cover large areas. What happens is you have a lot of areas and it will start bouncing and it will be too bright and too flat but you will also have a lot of cost especially if you're doing real time lighting. Of course you could also bake this naturally. I'm not going to do it right now but you could bake it and then tweak it accordingly. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.